Hey guys, just a quick tutorial on how I read uh, these uh, ending numbers on your balance. These ending numbers essentially determine where the decimal would go in your balance numbers. 248 is kind of the baseline uh, number that you want to shoot for. Uh, 248 is 1 HAC. So this would be 1 HAC, that would be 13 HAC, that would be 136 HAC, and that's kind of what we're all shooting for, right? Whole numbers of HAC. Um, what we do when we go lower in these numbers, we begin to create decimals. So here, we are one position lower than 248. So there's 248, now we're at 247. That would mean that the decimal goes there. And how did I do that? I simply went from the end of the number and I counted the number of positions I was from 248. So I am one position from 248. So that would be 1.1 HAC. But again, the system doesn't use decimals, but we're used to decimals. So um, this is how I figure out. Let's take a, a larger example. I personally don't like the commas because they can be confusing. Um, but they were voted in by the community. I think we can have a discussion more about that. Um, but here we are at 240, a very common uh, uh, suffix number that we see uh, in the system for our balances. And that is eight positions from 248, right? 248 or 240 minus 248, that's eight positions. So I would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 98.63268767 hack. Right, there we go. Here we are at 241. That is seven positions from 248. So we would go, right, let me get rid of these commas. Again, this is seven positions. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 564.908, blah, 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 HAC. Um, this can work for any number. So uh, let's grab another one from the minor pool. Just so we're using live examples. Let's get rid of these. And let's say we were to remove, I don't know, three decimals, right? So now we have, uh, this is five positions from 248. One, two, three, four, five. This address has 141.6 HAC. The opposite is true, that we most commonly see 248 through 240. But because HAC is infinitely divisible, we can actually go with different numbers. We can say um, 1, 2, 4, 9, right? We very rarely see 249. But this is one position above um, uh, the 248. So we'd actually add a zero, right? This would be 10 248s, right? This would, uh, this number is 10 HAC, right? This number is 100 HAC. And then the other way is true too. You could take one of these larger numbers and say 239. Right? We, we very rarely see these suffixes, but they, they can exist in the system. You can call it out however you want. And so this is, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, this is um, nine positions from 248. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's where the decimal place would fa fall. Um, I hope that that's helpful. And uh, let me see if I can find, you guys have all seen my... You guys have all, <clears throat> sorry, it's the first thing in the morning, my throat's all messed up. Um, uh, you guys have all seen my copy and paste response. This one, let me get this into a better size. This is what I've been trying to explain, right? The decimal, <clears throat> this number defines where the decimal lies. So the decimal would go there, 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 there there and there and all identified by one position away one two positions away from 248 one two three positions away from 248 one two three all the way down to eight positions away from 248 one two three four five six seven eight 
So I hope that helps to clarify um, uh, the way that the system uses decimals and why it can appear the balances go down when in fact they're going up. Just keep an eye on this ending number. Have a good one, guys.